All right, hi everyone. Welcome to a new Foundation series. We're going to be playing the Devil's Glacier map made by Arthas X, originally released September 19th, 2021. This uses uh, his fancy nature pack. And then I'm also using the Remove Vanilla Names for Foundation by Fires of Hades, along with historical Angevin names originally by Takeda and then updated by Fires of Hades for the uh, most recent version of Foundation. I figured we'll go ahead and probably do a heavily modded game this time out because once the new update comes out and my guess is still over a month out, who knows how many mods will be available right away. We'll probably start out with a completely unmodded game. Why not have fun with the mods that are available? And uh, rather than just showing the picture, let's get right into it. There's Fancy Na Nature Pack, Devil's Glacier, the map. Remove vanilla names, which takes away all the names that uh, the Foundation team added. And then historical Angevin names, which I've used this before. I kind of like most of these names. Kind of like most of the names. That's a glowing review, isn't it? All right, let's take a look at the map. Let me, let me get uh, high up on a mountain here. And let's see if we can figure out our starting area. Right away, you'll notice that the trees are almost all custom. They don't wave in the wind, but they still look cool. There's an awful lot of pines. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Um, the mineral deposits are all on mountains. I forget which area I was going to target as a starting area. You can see here's a couple of mineral nodes here. I recognize the rocks. Okay, I'm going to choose to start here. Mainly because I like starting closer to the center of the map. I see some fish jumping here and there. Yep, so we will have some fish. It's not like I'm going to promote everybody to commoner this time. <laughs> so let's get started right here. Right here. There we go. Mineral deposits were discovered nearby, which is oh, right on the edge. I didn't even see that one. Perfect spot. All right. Let's get started with the village center. Let's put it right here. There we go. Who are our starting cast of characters? It is Aljet Bra Brangwania. <laughs> Brangwania, Edelina, Edgidia, Elviva, Flan Flancan, Sybil, and Stamna. Uh, let's build that builder's workshop. And let's get going. Where do we want to put this? You know? These early decisions are so critical. Not really. Build that. All right. I'm just going to roll through here pretty fast in my early villager things, like putting the well over the boxes. Yep. Is that going to clear the boxes real nice? Yeah, I think so. Well over the boxes. Build it. Stone. Now... Here is the normal foundation stone set, but I'm not sure about this rock. This is probably too big, but these little boulders, if you circle these with extraction zones, a dude will come out from your from your stone cutters and hit on it a couple of times and they'll disappear. So so these are actually mineable. Mineable? Is that a word? So let's put our uh, rock cutter camp right here. Stone cutter camp build. Let's go ahead and paint an extraction zone around these rocks. And then, oops. And then let's get our berry hut. Gathering hut. And uh, here are the new berry models for this map only. Remember, this is modded. And uh, we'll put you right there and get you built. And, oh, I got to assign builders. So sorry. We'll go three builders. And uh, it's uh, Stamna, Elviva, and Ed Gidea. And then uh, we'll cut down those builders after a while. Now there's shrooms here. I believe these are herbs. We can do herbs early in the game. Which is interesting, right? Because that's that's a luxury. But uh, I need to place a lumber camp. Let's see. It's a negative. We've got a negative right here already. I think I'll put the lumber camp right over here. Build. Look at these trees, would you? Look at that. Nice fall color maple oak. What is this? Ah, it's a more like a maple-ish tree. 
All right, and then uh, let's see. What else do we need? We got the stone cutter camp. We've got the 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 berries. We got the wood cutting camp. We need to put this the granary up. I'm gonna put the granary right here. Why not? Right there. Build it, and then we'll need a market. And we'll put the market right here. Yep, and I'm not going to use any cloth. There we go. Should I put a pinch down? Resources. One. Planks. No. Nope. Just the market. Alright, lumber camp's been built. Let's get some woodcutters in there. You don't have any place to cut. I know. But don't worry. Extraction zone. Chop all these trees down. And chop these trees down. Honestly, uh... I think we're going to need to chop all these trees down. Now some of these small shrubs are going to count as trees and we're just going to overlook that. It is what it is. Okay, and uh, this zone has the berries included. All right. Produce berries. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're going to go up to speed two. And when it's time to take the next plot of land. Hmm. I'm thinking this. Oh, it's got to be this. Even though there's no trees here, it's got to be this because I want to uh, check that out. Gathering hut's been built. Not sure how many unemployed I have. So here's the first thing. What do you want to gather? Not herbs. Got to do berries. And we'll put two foragers in here and I'm going to have to move people around as the city expands. More like a, more like a small village, don't you think? And what else? I kind of want to build a forester. The forester's hut, 25 wood, 10 stone. Produce berries completed, thanks. How much stone do we have? I don't have anybody assigned here yet. All right, stock your resources added. I've got it all going on. Let's, right, how many do we have left? We have nothing left, all right. Let's, let's fire a builder. And let's, Fire one of the woodcutters, Sybil. And in the stonecutter camp, let's add you two because we're going to need some stone. How many do we have in the berries? Two? Probably just need one. Hey, Flan can. Flan can, do some stone for me. All right, there we go. I don't, I don't really miss the wavy trees. It's an option you could turn off anyway. And the uh, the forester is custom, so there's no way to plant the wavy trees. You plant these trees. But you can choose between deciduous, mixed, and coniferous. Not, not carnivorous, but coniferous. And of course I'll be choosing deciduous. Alright, we're going to speed three. Look at this. I really like the way this looks. Really different from your standard starting foundation map. Now can I show how they can chop out stone? Let's see what happens. I'm gonna circle one of the this little stone right over here. I'm just gonna circle it. There. See if one of them runs over to do it. I don't know if it's prioritized or not. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, if one of them runs over here and does this. Yeah, I think it's just too far away. All right, well, I'm going to keep it circled anyway. 34 berries, 10 cloth, 50 wood. Ah, we're already max wood. All right, nope. Let's fire uh, Brangwanya. And bring Brangwanya over here to the miners because we need this stone. This plot won't get me access to water. That's too bad. I'm going to have to do probably this one and then this one to get access to water. Hey, the granary's been built. Oh, I should have ordered things. Yeah, it's okay. All right, let's uh, berries and more berries and one transporter is going to be... How much stone do we have? 12? Let's back off the miners now. Uh, it's going to be the flan can is going to be our transporter. All right. Getting all kind of cash. 
need somebody here too. You're gonna sell berries. And who should we take from? We've only got one. I didn't mean to click on you. We can use this screen. We've got two builders, one forager, one transporter, one woodcutter, three of five miners assigned. Yep, let's let's drop off Sybil and put Sybil right here in the market. Okay. And you ought to be able to sell berries and we'll get our little hundred happiness. Will probably never happen again. And then we'll want to do a trade route. Which, remind me, can I remember this? Here's the forester camp. Oh, there's two... F oh. There is the old style forester camp for ten planks. There's also the new forester hut. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do the old style forester hut because I think we're going to need some more trees. And where can I put you? Let's put you, uh, let's put you right over here. Alright. And the interesting thing about this, I, you know, I've tried this map to make sure things work, but only for about five minutes. You paint a crop field to tell them where to plant trees, and then they plant these trees. However, with the forester camp, we can plant the old school foundation trees. Encourage immigration is complete. We've got 100 happiness, everybody. Everybody's happy. And now we just need people to immigrate. So what's next? I think the uh, the sawmill has to be next, right? So let's put the sawmill right over here. Yep, I want you... You're a big negative, so I'm going to want you up here. Build it. Plus two villagers. Yay for us. Uh, I am but your humble servant, whatever. And uh, unlock the warehouse, sure. Let's add another woodcutter, we're up to two. Housing's insufficient. Yep. Let's put some housing... Oh, I don't know. This is kind of a green area, this is kind of a green area down here. And honestly, kind of this whole area, right? For right now. Hopefully that's enough for housing. So what's what's all available in the fancy nature pack? This is it, right? Fancy nature pack. Let's check this thing out while while we're. Uh, did I assign all the villagers? Uh, I need to build a warehouse. Hold on, we'll check out the fancy nature pack in a minute. Let's uh, let's build a warehouse real quick. I forgot about that. I gotta unlock the warehouse. Unlock it. Estates. Warehouse. And the warehouse goes... here it is. Gotta build a warehouse. Uh, it's already negative over in here, so we're gonna put you right up right up in here. Invalid position? Come on. I don't think so. I guess I can put you down in the flats here. Yeah, we'll put you down here. Alright, get all that stuff built. Now, I was, I was looking at the fancy nature pack. So it's a bunch of trees. And these are maple trees. I was right about that. We got some birches, some pines. Do they start out full size? It appears they do. Firs, shrubs, flowers. Shrubs, shrubs, flowers. Named flowers. Cornflower, chamomile, poppies, lupine, lupins, mullein. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then uh, shrooms and reeds. How about that? There's some reeds. Uh, I would call those, uh, some might call those reeds. I would call those cattails. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Fancy nature pack. Okay. What is happening? We need to build the these. Let's assign some more builders. Now we have three of three builders assigned. It's, uh, Odierne, I think, is the new one. Odierne? It's not Elviva. I think I saw Elviva before. Odierne. And then who else do we have that's unemployed? It is... Job. Unemployed. It's Edith! Edith, what do you want to do? Let's see. How about berries? Yes. We can afford, we can afford some more berries. Because we're sticking them in the... Granary. Alright, we are, we are waiting for the sawmill to get built because we need planks for the warehouse. 
And our builders were tied up building houses, so I high prioritized that. I keep forgetting. I forget that every time. They get busy building houses, and then you kind of have this slow period because they're not building the um, the buildings you want. The forester hut's done. Plus one villager. Hey, you're going to be a forester. So here it is. You're, you're going to plant a deciduous forest, and it's going to be ethni, ethni. And then we will paint the crop field, and it shows you pretty much everywhere where you can paint the forest. Anyway, uh, your forestry area is going to be here. And I don't know how far you can reach. Let's let's see how far you can reach. We'll put another area here. Can you plant trees over here? What do you think? And then maybe, uh, pl yeah, plant some trees over here. Yep, this is your planting area. I don't know. Will you go on top of rocks? We'll find out. Will you go way over here? We'll find out. All right, and then if you can reach over here, you know, that's fine. We will also find out. And you're going to sow trees. Cool. And we've got little trees. So even though they're the new style trees, they still start out small. And then grow at an amazingly rapid pace. Alright, the lumber mill is finished. I don't think we have any unemployed. We don't. So, let's see. Who do we take away from? Um, I don't like... We'll take away from the woodcutters right now. Yep, we'll go down to just one. It's Math Gamain. I don't remember Math Gamain being a woodcutter. But you're going to make us some planks. There you go. So look at that mountain view, would you? Look at all that. That's so cool. I have no idea how to place different assets onto a map. And I assume he drew these. Or she. I honestly don't know. But look how cool that looks. Plus two villagers. Man. They're fighting to get in. Uh, let's assign another carpenter and another woodcutter. It's Johanna and uh, who? Oezia. Oezia. Angevin names. I picked them. Historic. Angevin names. So our little planter here has come over here and planted a couple of trees. I don't, they haven't made it over here yet. I'm not sure. Can we follow you? Oh, you're cutting down a shrub for wood. That's fine. Where are you? I'm gonna I'm gonna follow you around. Eth ethne. I'm gonna follow you around and see where you do your planting. You show up at the house, and then you're walking all over the place. You're working. All right. Oh, you're going way up here now. It's kind of off the property line. What What are you doing? All right, no, it's okay. This, this might not be the most efficient tree planting. Okay, you're planting right there, right next to this other tree. No resources to extract. We're um, yeah, we ran out of we ran out of wood. I've got colors all over the place. We've run out of wood. Let's go ahead and set this as an extraction zone. I mean, the whole map, really. Yep, I think I've gotten the whole map anyway. I can see where we're out of wood. Oh, I don't think you can, you're not extracting up here. Plus two villagers again. Why is everybody so happy to get in? Residential space, employment, and happiness is all high. Oh, we got a warehouse. We're going to store what? We got to store planks because I want to sell them. And uh, we might as well store wood because they're full. And we want to store tools for the trade. What else? I guess stone. Yeah, it's it's my typical f starting four. And uh, we will assign Pippa here. I guess we're going to need two. So it's going to be Pippa and Laurentia of Arabia. Some of these names look familiar. I wonder if it correctly removed the built-in names or not. Well, that's the way it goes. That's the names we're using. Missing raw materials. Who is? 
You are. You don't have wood. You went through all that wood that fast. No, I don't think so. We have 26 wood. 35 planks. I'm running behind. It's time to unlock a trade route. Unlock the trade route to Northbury. Ta-da! One free territory. I'll get it. And then we want to start selling planks and berries for cash. So let's go over to, let's see, planks. And let's sell above, say, 50. And with berries, let's sell above... I'm going to say 75 for now. And I'm going to have to remember to change that. and Make some money. Okay. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab that other territory. It's going to be this. Mineral deposits were discovered nearby. Yep. And it's time to build a church. Our happiness is 88. 13% service shortage. And... The dudes that just came in were apparently hungry and something else, but it fixed itself. All right. I don't want to build a church yet. I really don't. I want to build. Uh, I want to build my house, and it's going to be on the new property, and it's going to be right with the ocean view. And I'm going to use the uh, wood extension like this, and we'll raise it up a bit. And I don't like this door, so I'm going to put it on the back side where we can't see it. Like that. And then our uh, industrious bailiff, whoever that might be, is going to live right there. And do I want to add something else? That takes a lot. Like this, five planks, five stone, that's not a lot. And that can be treasury. And we can start out right away with the treasury. You're not outside territory. Really? Scooch. There. Nice house. Right there. Alright. And and uh, the dude is going to show up in, at the front door here. Alright, build it. Uh, we fully stocked with builders. We are. We might want to add more. You're going to have to walk all the way over here to do this. And this guy's kind of slow. Plant deciduous forest. I'm not seeing this deciduous forest. I think now that we have planks, I think I'm going to go ahead and build the regular forester camp over here. And we're going to lay down some serious trees over here. I'm going to put you uh, right smack in the middle here, build. And I'm going to go ahead and set a reforestation zone. Um, basically all around you and up near my house. Something like this that's perfect. We'll get that built. And then, we'll do some reforestation there. I mean, you are planting. It just seems slow, but it's okay. It's not hurt. You're not hurting anything. Ah, oh, man, I really like the way that looks. This, is, this looks like a poplar tree. No, actually, it looks more like it's a... It's a compound leaf. Could be a hickory tree. Oh, it's growing, too. Could be a hickory tree. Plus one villager. Well, we need jobs. Uh, perhaps this warehouse doesn't need it, or this granary doesn't need anybody else yet. Forester camp's been built. Let's put another woodcutter in. And now, oh, did I use up? No, we have two more unemployed. Okay, forester camp. Mercy. And I gotta X each one of these. Please stand by. Ten minutes later. Should I plant the wavy trees? Or should I plant maybe just the maples? You're going to do a good job planting whatever. Let's let's stick with the custom models. Let's do uh, oak A, oak B, oak C, oak double A, and not the small oak. All oaks. And we'll see how those work out for us. Alright, and uh, this uh, no workers assigned. I know, i got to find where the workers are. Here you go. It's going to be uh, Tapachia. Tapioca. Pudding. Mmm. Alright, you're gonna start planting? Bloop. Bloop. Why are you... No, that's fine. Yeah, you, you plant really fast. Right. This, this plants really fast. Okay, good. I'm not too happy with this. A monk requests an audience. Uh, pff, whatever. Plus zero villagers. Why? 
Not sure. Everything's high, but nobody came in. We still have one unemployed. Let's uh, let's put you with the miners. It's going to be uh, Cater Caternia. Cat really? Caternia. Yep. I could start collecting herbs, but I think herbs are still a luxury, right? Can you plant herbs? No, you can't. So once the herbs are gone, how do we get them back? Lord Manor's been built. All right. Nothing to report. All right, it, the, uh, the, let's see, the wood extension is going to be the Great Hall. The wood tower is going to be the treasury. We can now hold uh, 830 bucks. And this extension is going to be after I unlock the bailiff. Where are you? Bailiff office. Ta-da! This extension is going to be the bailiff office. Click to assign a bailiff. Here's our candidates. I don't like any of them. I think it's going to have to be Adelina. Yeah. Soldier training speed. Trade bonus of 12% from village with clergy, kingdom, and labor allegiance. But I can't pronounce your name, Azuzia. I can change your name. Nominate. Hmm. Mod. There you go. It's Mod. Mod, you're the bailiff. I know you're a newcomer. I'll promote you eventually. I gotta promote people. Plus one villager. Promotion should be coming up, right? Week three, day six. Promotion's coming up soon. Plus one villager. The newcomer who's now Mod was in the sawmill. So, another Sybil will now be in the sawmill. Sybil with an I instead of a Y. Sitting on 694, 700 cash. Let's go ahead and uh, let's prospect one of these uh, mineral deposits. Let's see, where's the one that's right next to us? Not that one. This one. Yep. Prospect that for us, Maud, and uh, I will promote you. Check this out. Man. That's some heavy woodland. I love these oaks. I love them. And you are sw oh, you're not swaying. You're growing. Freaky. All right, that is that is one big oak forest. Let me tell you. And here's here's Maud over here. Tapping on a rock. All right. I mean, you look like you're out in the wilderness there, I tell you. How was I able to build this without tools? I guess we had enough tools. Plus one villager. It is week four, day seven. I forgot to set up the trade route. Uh, tools, 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 tools. Let's buy until inventory reaches 10. There we go. First trade route complete. It is now week one, day one. Let's do promotion before they steal all my money. And 260 to promote everybody to surf. Ta-da! And now you have a new need, comfort, and service. Got to build a church. And for the church, we need the tools. Let's go ahead and go over to service. And our church will be... Hmm. You're not doing a very good job planting, are you? Well, because they're cutting down here. What's up with all the houses? Oh, the houses are expanding. Okay. Where should we put the church? This is a crazy forest right there. Yeah, I need uh, I need to get the woodcutters over here to cut some of these woods down. Let's put the church right here. Look at it. We even have scrub trees on this side. I'm sorry. Look at the way the path looks. That just... I love it. I love the way that looks. Church is going to go here. We're going to build over these weeds. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna go... Uh, I really want you to green up stuff, though. All the houses are here. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Where's the pole of churchiness? The monument location. We're gonna move the monument over here, because this guy... This guy's not doing it, man. Church is gonna go here to green up this area. And, uh, here's the church core. And, uh, the church core her holds 20. And here's the door. And we're going to have to put another core because we already have 21 villagers. Like so. And that should be fine. Yes, that works out fine. 
And then uh, we need the steeple, which we will build out of stone. T to turn snapping back on. And there's the steeple right there. And uh, do I want you, like, in here somewhere? I think so. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, there's our first church. And uh, we'll put a little cross on the front. Only because gargoyles are missing. And we'll put a cross up there, and we'll get that built. 77 stone, 56 planks, 16 tools. We have 56 planks and 133 stone and 10 tools. We only need six more. Get it built. Thank you very much. Is this birch? Birch doesn't have compound leaves. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I don't know what kind of tree that is. I know I can't even see in here anymore. This is a scary jungle. Let's let's get this as an extraction zone as well. And uh, why don't we build another woodcutter camp? And that woodcutter camp can go up here. Woodcutters, woodcutters. Yep, your woodcutter camp. Yeah, you're not going to interfere with any housing up here. Oh, somebody's hitting up, hitting some wood. I saw it. Tree shaking. Okay, put another woodcutter camp here. I can delete this, and you all should move right over here. <laughs> Let's get down in here. I'm gonna slow it down to speed one. Just so I want to get down in here. Can we see anything in here? Oh, I found the. There we go. There's a stone. There's some trees. Aha! Here's the forester camp. There is a path. There's a path to the camp. Man, it is dark and spooky in here. Look at this. Alright, yeah, we need to cut some of these woods down. Thumbs up, though. Oh, look! The horseman has arrived. People are hungry, and they want fish. You know I don't have fish. Okay? So, I'm keeping it all. Off you go. And you're running... Full speed. Wet well, three anyway. Okay, you're running just fine. All right. I think this dude has to go. I don't know what this dude is doing, but it's not much. Yep, you're just too slow. Are you too slow, or is it because I gave you too much to do? Let's paint your. Let's uh, let's unpaint some of your crop field. Okay, maybe that's that's the deal. Is I just gave you too much to do. You can still plant around the church, but we're gonna chop off your uh, your crop field to down here. There you go. And you can plant close to the houses. All right. Maybe this will get get us more woods. Three unemployed. Buildings, workers, uh, oh, the new lumber camp's up. Well, really, I just want to delete this lumber camp. There's no wood, there's no wood, and there's four. Yep, off you go. All right, will you move in here? It's speed three, one would hope you will move in here as quickly as possible. Just keep our eye on this. There's one, two, and then... What else do we have? This should... I think this should go up to three. Maybe I didn't have all three in there. Uh, two transporters, miners... How are we on stone? 76 stone? Let's put another miner in. It's gonna be... I almost clicked them. It's gonna be Abraham for another miner. And definitely another forager. It's gonna be Minna. We are now three of three on the woodcutters. Good. And then carpenters for planks. You only found stone mod. Are you related to Nigel? And uh, Aldit is gonna go here. Mm, man, that's some bitter disappointment. All right, bitter disappointment. Okay, where's the next uh, thingamabob? It's over here. Well, I don't have to own it yet. I can send you out another mandate if I can find anything in here. Good grief, plus zero villagers. I want to make sure that uh, this extraction zone is big enough to extract all this, all these trees. Wow. And 
We'll turn off this. Ex oh, berries. I know. Don't worry. I know. Berries. Stone. You're fine. They didn't even notice anything happen. And then... We'll turn off this... Nope, this extraction zone should stay. I'm not really extracting here, though. You're planting up here now. Yep. I think this extraction zone goes. And we'll see if I can deal with all these trees. Those are some kind of heavy trees, though. Good grief. Yep, might have to switch this over to the regular oaks. Look at that! I mean... I mean, we're not gonna have a wood problem, I tell you that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cha I'm gonna set the reforestation zone around my house. So I can have some oaks around the old house. There you go. And uh, maybe an oak or two right up here. There. Yeah, right around the house. Come on up and plant plant those. And uh, I could put a uh, residential area in here too. Man, the house doesn't give a big benefit. But why don't we stretch this out, like right through the middle here. And we'll see how houses look inside the dense forest. Yeah, this forestry camp, forester hut, is balanced for the bigger trees. Obviously, but uh, I will totally cheese it with the uh, Forester camp and the super dense oaks You have to tell me in the comments if you, if you want me to change this to the regular foundation trees. Let me know Are you full? You're almost full How's the warehouse doing the warehouse? We are worth 92 wood and a lot of planks. Are we selling stuff? Why don't we take a look at the budget? The budget says that we have traded away 315 bucks in planks and... Or 315 bucks in berries, 312 in planks. We've sold 900 berries to our own villagers. And... That's pretty consistent. Actually, last month was a few more berries. And we did have to buy some tools. Plus two villagers. Week four, day seven. The church is about up. We have 25. And we can hold 40. We'll have 40 in the in the old church here. No access to service. We can hold 20. We'll be able to hold 40 soon. Soon. There we go. Let's go ahead and do some promotion. That's not the right button. Promotion available. I gotta get mod on a mandate too. E no commoners. Nope. Let's uh, promote uh, all you to serfs. And then, God is why we're all here. And then, uh, bailiff's available for a mandate. Let's start at the bottom of the list. Where are we? A couple of miles away over here. Where's this then? Also a couple miles away. This? Aha. This is very close. This might be the closest. This. This. I'd have to buy two, I think. That might be the closest. This is over here. That's definitely a couple of purchases. This. All right. Nope. I'm going to go with this one, which is right over here. Yep. Uh, just double check. Yep. Start. See if you can find something besides just stone. Hey, we got houses going up. Cool. It's like these guys aren't even making a dent in these woods. Look at that. What is this? What kind of tree is this? Oh, it's a dark green oak versus a light green oak. Wow. I, I mean, I can't even see in there. Pretty cool neighborhood. I should put another market over here. You know? You know how I am with forgetting to build markets. Let's put another well over here. And uh, we do have a stonemason hut now that I can build. And we're all the way up to... We've got sheep. Nope, not yet. Not yet. We can do a sheep statue, but we can't do sheep yet. So, I think I need one commoner for the sheep. Let's put another well over here. I, I'm going to want a well next to my house. So, let's put a well right there. Uh, plus one villager. And let's put a market in over here. 
like I can see. And it's just going to be a single market stall. Um, where is it going to go? Single market stall, right? We'll put it, there's already a road here. Yeah, we'll put it right along the road here. There you go. Build it. Okay. Crazy. Are you actually planting anything? I don't think so. I'll, I'll leave you up. You do have a, a nice habit of planting these trees right next to buildings, which I think just look fantastic. But I don't know what kind of tree that is. There's another one right there. I think it's time to build another gathering hut. Well, let's get that done. And you're going to go up the hill here like so. There we go. Get that built. Market's been built. All right. Can I see it? Yep. There it is right here. You're going to sell berries as well. And uh, this is going to be uh, Elviva. What did I just... Who did I just pull from? I don't think I pulled from the unemployed. I think I clicked in the wrong area again. Elviva is finishing up. What were you... You were a builder. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. So we're going to need a new builder. And, uh, yep, you were a builder. So as soon as you're out of there, we'll get somebody else to be a builder. All right, we need more people in Gathering Hunter. You're going to gather berries. And a monk's requesting an audience. It's going to be Raquel and Babel fish. And then, do we have room in the builder's hut yet? Plus one villager? Yes, we do. It's going to be Yurik. And then Muriel'd. I think, transporter. Muriel'd. Two, whoops. Two transporters for this. Week two, day seven. Did I miss a promotion? Not sure. All right, let's get a stonemason hut in. Plus two villagers. Let's, uh, this is all negative over here. Let's put the stonemason hut right here. Get that built. You're going to use five cloth. And then we can sell stone. There's the trader dude. What do you, what do you got going on? Yeah, you want to buy berries, stone, and wine. You've already bought the planks. And now you're going to go ahead and buy the berries. Anyway, on trading, we want to sell polished stone... And uh, we'll sell all above five. And immediately, I remember that we have no place to store the polished stone, so we're going to have to make another warehouse. And... Yeah, I don't really want to make those houses too negative. How, can I get a warehouse to look okay up in here? I think so. It's not perfect. Outside territory? No, you're not. Right... Here is fine. Build it right there. And you'll do the polished stone uh, along with anything else that we might need. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am making an executive decision that these are too many trees. I'm going to have to probably just use more of these, which is how the map was designed anyway. So let's, let's, uh, I'll, I'll deal with that maybe between episodes. You found a what? A gold deposit? Well, mod, yeah, it's fine. You know, gold is fine. It's not iron. It's gold. You're available for a mandate. Where's their next uh, next stop on the list? Is right up right up and over the hill here. All right, this one, right? Yep. Yep. All right, do this one next for another hundred dollars. We're doing fine on the money, and. Uh, that's a shame. Gold. Doesn't that doesn't doesn't that tree look great right next to the church? This this I believe, while not my favorite tree type, is probably one of my favorite tree models. Look at that. And this one I don't think is not growing anymore. It's just a small version of that. How about that? Plus one villager. Alright, let's take care of our unemployed. 
And let's see, we've got the stonemason hut is up, so uh, it's going to be Golda. Ironically, we just discovered gold. And then the transporters in that new warehouse are going to be Orbella and Wordroa. Wondrous Wordroa. All right. And uh, one of the things you're going to hold is polished stone. And it is promotion time. And we are going to do promotion. We're going to promote 100 to promote all the newcomers to serfs. We have 30 villagers, even. And uh, 92 happiness, 640 out of 830 cash. And let's just go ahead and look at the budget because we can. We're pulling in 797 bucks last month, currently 975, but you know how that changes. And soon we're going to be selling polished stone, which means we're going to be making even more money. And we've got an absolute jungle here that uh, needs to be taken care of. With uh, changing a forester camp to a forester hut, which is something that came with the map in these tree models. Uh, either I keep the forester camp and I change it to regular foundation trees, or I put in two forester huts for the same area. I don't know. Opinions welcome. But anyway, let's get a nice view here. Turn off the... Oh, hold on. Turn off the telescope of territory boundaries. Then turn off the user interface. And get a good shot of the village. Maybe from over the forest. There we go. There's the village. Oh, what am I doing? I haven't named the village yet. We'll call it... Uh, let's just call it... Uh, Glacier Valley. There. And this is Lord uh, Ice. Ice to see you. There we go. Alright. Anyway, that, user interface off, is going to be it for the first episode of Glacier Valley. On a cool little custom map. Every city is going to be different. What's this one going to look like? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.